Last time we had, uh, actually we had a good run, which uh, the end. So, uh, but it is, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a great team. Probably one of the best, I mean, probably the best in England. So, uh, just go there and try our best. That's the best thing to say. And after the results, gonna be the result. But obviously, I think we shouldn't go over there, like, you know, like we lost the game already. Because uh, as long as the game is not played, we've got every chance to do something. So, I mean, just go there and not be like uh, losers before. That's the most important thing. It must have knocked the confidence last time around. It went 10 games afterwards without a victory. It must have knocked everybody. Such a, a heavy defeat, even though it was only in the second half, wasn't it? The first half performance was a good performance. Yeah. It's difficult to say, to be honest, that if, because we lost that game, that, you know, we went, uh, it's, it's, I mean, everyone's going to end the day, so. What I'm saying is, uh, last time it's true they beat us, and after we went like on a very bad run, everything's different. I mean, even if we lose, I don't think that that should really get into our heads because we we're playing against the best team in England. So I mean, if they win, really, that's what's ex expected from them. So I mean, shouldn't really play on our side. And for you as well, I know you only made one appearance, didn't you, from the, from the bench for Manchester City? But they must have had a big impact on your development as a player to get you to the point where you are now. Mm. Yes, and yeah, yes. I've seen some faces that I saw, you know, a couple of years back. But I mean, I'm not really uh, someone who's uh, emotional. Mm. So I mean, just going there as a Sheffield Wednesday player and try to get the result, try to get a good result over there. That's it. To be honest, it's nothing emotional for me. Not gonna lie.